What's up guys, it's Neil Smith here, and today we're back with another of my videos. We're going to be talking about tissues, organs, organ systems, and we're going to get into what are, what are those, and what, what do they do for your body, and their anatomy and their function, and how they sponsor you to live in the real world, not in the fantasy world. <laughs> And did you know there's a hierarchy of cells? No, not, no, not this. No nobles, kings, peasants, or anything like that. Um, it's cells that make tissues, and tissues make up organs, and organs, organs make up organ systems. That's what I was about to say. Caught myself. I'm very lucky. And then organ systems, well, make up you and me. Make up baby you and me. And... First, there are cells, like you saw in the other video, video about cells, it's different skill, cells make epithelial, 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 which is skin cells, and then muscle cells, muscle tissue, like this red stuff, oh yeah, baby, it's strong, yeah, that type of Muscle, not type of muscles you get. AK clam, black clams. Haha. -ha. <laughs> and then, did you know that that your blood is a connective tissue? Well, connective tissue can be as as three stages: jelly-like, fluid, or solid. Did you know that my in my magma block, the veins in your heart is full of is full of connective tissue. Can you identify that liquid? Yes, it's called blood. It's very simple, but creepy to some people. Next is the best one, my favorite one, the nervous tissue. They look like spider webs or spiders themselves. And then, and, and, they go down from your top of your head all the way to the bottom. The brain, all the spinal cord. And the spinal cord is very vulnerable. So keep yourself safe. And then and in nervous tissue there's glial cells and nervous and nerve nerve tissue. No, not a nervous tissue that you rattle, a tissue that you rattle. No, nervous tissue. You find your brain, then your spine. And did you know that what make what makes you be able to feel, like on my desk right now, it feels smooth wood. What makes you feel that? Nerve cells. It allows you to feel, touch. And let's say I was cooking and, I, and then some hot boiling oil came and hit me on the side of the head. Guess what? I'd be able to react to the pain. Like if it was here, like something I would describe pain. Like let's say the oil hit here, and I would be able to react. Ow, that hurt. <clears throat> that hurt. Oil it hurts. Sloppy cooker. And that was, um, and that was, we gone over cells, tissues. Now we're going to go on to organs and their functions. But interesting thing is, did you know there's organs in the front? Ah. Organs in the front. Lungs and the blue, the trachea, the esophagus, the heart is the magma blocks, the liver is the red stuff, red netherward, pink concrete for the stomach, the, 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 the greenish bluish stuff is prismary, aka the small intestine, and that log looking like thing is the, is the, large intestine. This, the little orange thing is the bladder. And then the back side, 
that brown mushroom stuff, brown stuff, is the kidneys. The purple stuff is the spleen. These little caps things on top of the the kidney is adrenal gland. We're going to get that later. And the gallbladder, we're going to get to that later. And then the brain at the very top. But interesting thing is I go from bottom up. We can't just go by system to system because of the location. It's going to be a lot of work. We're just going to go from bottom up, from the back, and the front. So let's begin with the front side. Front side. Bladder. Oh, God. So you can see it. The bladder. The urine is stored here. It travels from the kidneys and then it'll, then to the bladder. It will then leave your body, a.k.a. PA. Large intestine. The large intestine absorbs water from the food you eat. At the end, it all falls out. <laughs> oh, that's why you have to go to the bathroom. And the small intestine is smaller than the large intestine. No wonder the name and it actually is smaller. Small intestine absorbs nutrients from the passing fluid. Filled with nutrients absorbs that. And then the large intestine absorbs water. Then it's clunky, clunky, you know what? And then it all cruds out. And then the pancreas. The, the pancreas produces enzymes and insulin. Pancreas is part of the endocrine system. It is a gland. Next to the stomach. Next to the stomach. Because we're going from bottom up. Stomach holds the food you have eaten and it breaks down through the contracting of the muscles of the stomach walls. And acid comes out. You don't want to be in the acid. It must hurt a lot. Next is the liver pool, a.k.a. Um, if a pool full of livers, get it? Liver pool? <laughs> the liver filters out poisonous chemicals from your body. You don't want to mess with those chemicals. Next. The heart. The queen of hearts. Oh, yeah, she must have a lot of human hearts in her room. The heart pumps blood to the other parts of your body. It is the center of the circulatory system. Yeah, here's a better view. Next, uh, next up above. Why isn't it the lungs? Oh, the, I was mistaken. The lungs are here. That was the thyroid gland. That's, that's next. Betcha that. The lungs are areas when oxygen gets transported to the bloodstream. The air sacs expand due to your breathing. <clears throat> and cough when you're sick or, or something's messing when you want to get it out. Thyroid gland, you knew it, guys. Put hashtag thyroid gland as the boss down if you, if you think I won that bet. Thyroid gland controls how your cells work and divide. If this is damaged, well, you got well, you've got cancer. Tumor. Pituitary gland. People call it the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland makes hormones for your body and for your brain and your body. Puberty. That's where I might do another video on puberty, but not now. The ultimate thinking cap. The brain. We we've got to finish and got to the top of the front side. We still got the back side to do. Don't get too excited. The brain sends signals through your body. The nerves can let you feel and touch objects. Different parts of your our brain control different places of our body. The brain. Touch. Movement. Thinking, speak, hearing, vision. Well, that was the front. That's the brain. Walked on this very hard. The brain was complex. And I got a little secret to tell you at the end. All the way back to the bottom. Next. 
Next is the kidney. It filters waste and then pushes it down to the bladder. The urine will release all the waste. The adrenal gland. The adrenal glands produce an uh, adrenaline. And that chemical gives you an extra spurt of energy. Way to go! Like emergency, let's say a dog is attacking you. And you're... You have no choice to fight. Your body will be inside print. Prepare. Come at me. Come at me, boy. That stage, but best thing is not again to fight. Well, the spleen. People don't really know it's there, but it is there. The spleen recycles red blood cells and increases more of them. The spleen can also help in war against infections. Next is the gallbladder small but cute but but big purpose if we didn't we'd most likely die Oof. gallbladder assists the stomach and then produces green liquid bile bile is used for digesting in your food in your stomach Darn it. and that was it that was my video Everybody, hope you learned something. If, you, if you're not clear about something, you can go back in the video. Everybody, one thing to say. I built this all myself. No help at all. A lot of work. I built this whole thing. Might seem simple, but it's, but it's a lot of work. And, but, I, but... Guys, I want to tell you that this is going to be reviewed maybe in your in your future school for people younger watching and for the higher people, you might be more fascinated which organ you can come about. My mom is a doctor, by the way. And then and that was my video. Everybody like, share, sub to my channel. Sub to no boy. And peace out, everybody.